Hi my loves, welcome back to another video. How's it going? How are you guys doing? So today is going to be a declutter video and I'm going to be doing more decluttering on this channel as I keep going and kind of trying to just get my life into some sort of order. Um, I'm probably also going to be using the same intro and outro in all of these videos that I do next. So yeah, um, just keep two things in mind. One of them is I did this declutter a few months before um so there's a lot of things in there in the videos that i might mention that i really like which i might have like changed opinions on things have like moved out of my collection i've had a lot more stuff come in as well since then so there's going to be a lot of that and also if you've seen my last few videos none of those products are in the declutter videos because those are all very recent and my declutter one was like months ago. The other thing just to keep note is I am a hoarder at heart. So I do have a hard time when it comes to letting go of things, especially makeup for some reason. I, I'm not really sure why exactly that is. I'm trying to figure that out. Um, Yeah, so just keep that in mind. There will be some videos that are going to be a little bit more cutthroat than others. And I hope you guys enjoy them in whichever way they go down welcome back to another video um again i hope i've done an intro already but if not it's going to be the intro to the video so basically i'm going through and decluttering all of my alex five drawers and just all of my um makeup i just want to get rid of the stuff that i don't need and only have things that i do need and use and i enjoy using also just want to get rid of anything that is potentially expired because you obviously can't use something expired in your face you don't want to get a reaction um i have a lot of makeup um can, could be considered a bit of a hoarder um and it's just because i like makeup and i got so many issues but that's like a whole other situation okay so i am generally just so shocked looking at this because there is so much stuff stuffed into this one drawer and it's a problem because the drawer is doming and i'm worried one day the thing might actually collapse into the drawer below i have so many other products and yeah guys it's not looking good for me to the next category which is all my face palettes um i have quite a few face palettes if somebody doesn't really reach for them much um and i don't again i don't know if i'm gonna get rid of much or anything at all in this category but i'll show you everything that i have anyway so this is probably my oldest or one of my oldest face palettes and it's by huda beauty and it's her winter highlighter palette collection i hate these things that come out, I just, I don't even know. Um, but this is what the palette itself looks like. These are really, really pretty um, highlighter shades. There's this one, which is like a cream, which when you swatch it, it just looks like that, which is definitely an interesting color. I just don't know how much I would use it, but um, I need to try and make an effort on actually using this up because creams do go off a lot faster than powders do. But again, even with the rest of these, the shades are just so like, pretty like that's so nice obviously my colliders ones do look similar to this but i'm still going to keep this palette because it's so nice um and i've got this blush palette from made on mitchell and it's got basically i think um i don't know where my thought process just kind of died there but um this got quite a lot of shades i really like it was cool toned and warm toned in like the same um, palette um and also the fact that this had quite a few like that purpley shades as well the only thing is i wish there was like an, a more like orangey color in here not like this but like an actual orange and maybe like even a yellow blush because i think that would have been really nice um because i feel like some of these can be kind of similar and i don't like this particular shade either um because that is just that's not really something i can rock on my skin anyway but i am going to keep this palette because this is quite an interesting one and it's got quite a few shades in it so i'm happy with that I'm not sure how much is each. Oh, it's four grams per blush, which is a lot um, of blushes. Then I've got this NARS one. I've got quite a few of NARS palettes. This is the Afterglow Cheek Palette, uh, if it could open. Okay, I can't lie. A lot of these shades are really nice. And NARS has like similar pal palettes each year. So you don't really need to buy them again and again because you're going to see very similar colours in their palettes. Um, I do like this really like bright pop of red. I think that's really nice. And that's an interesting shade as well. I'm going to keep this palette because it is generally really, really pretty. And the NARS formula is um, great. So I'm going to keep that. Next, I've got this Natasha Denona Rose Cheek Duo. But this is more like a creamier palette. I don't really like that, I'll be honest. But the shade, that cream blush is actually really nice. 
I think I'm going to keep this and I might try to pan this next year in a project pan, but we'll see. I mean, it is nice. I'm going to keep that for now. Um, next up, I've got another NARS palette and this is Orgasm on the Beach, which looks like this, which again, has got similar um, shades. At least these three are similar from the previous palette. So that's why if you've got one, I don't think you need to like buy another one, but this is nice. I'm going to keep this as well. Um, next, I've got Patrick Tar palette. This was like really high discounted on Cult Beauty is the only reason I actually decided to buy it. Um, so this has got like four blushes, two creams, two highlighters, and then a cream and powder. No, sorry. I don't know what I just said there. It's got three creams, three powders, two highlighters, four blushes. And this was very greatly discounted on um, Cult Beauty is the only reason I bought it. I think there was originally quite a lot of mixed reviews and I think most people didn't like this palette. But I really wanted to give it a go because the colours are actually really nice. Like that's um an interesting kind of shade and this is quite unique to my collection um i suppose but i'm gonna give this a go and see how it goes if not i'll just declare it to someone that would like to get use out of that then i've got this one by nanhash and denona it's the diamond and blush palette i wish the lighter shade had been available because i think that would be more up my alley um and the shades might have worked a little bit better in that for me um but again you've got a couple of highlighters a couple of blush and you can use some of these like for bronzers it just depends on your skin tone um but you can probably get away with some of these as bronzers like that one probably would be like a more like a, a creamy bronzer for me like a shimmery bronzer um but this is what this looks like i need to start using these palettes that have a lot of these cream products in them because these are going to expire really fast but this is generally a really nice palette and i am going to keep this as well um i got it when it was like quite highly discounted again on cult beauty um, I've got another NARS one, this is the Overlust palette, and this is what that looks like. These are very, like, muted tones, which I really like about this. Again, like, I love these, like, kind of very nudey colours for blushes. Um, again, like, these highlights, again, are really, really nice. So I'm going to keep this palette as well. I, I do really enjoy the NARS formula, so I'm going to keep that. So I've got this Charlotte Tilbury one. I think this was their last year's release. It's their Glowgasm Face palette, and that is just so gorgeous. There is just no way I'm letting go of this one. It's so nice that I've got to stay. I've got this one by Beauty Bay and it's their like light face palette. I think now they've got three. Originally they only had two. I got this as like a free gift of purchase and that's what it looks like. Um, I'm not too keen on that blush, but the rest of this palette does look really nice and I would love to like use that as well. Um, I've got this other one from Natasha Denona. I regret buying the deeper shade because I feel like it's not like, I feel like the lighter version would have been better for me, but I have it. It was expensive. I'm going to try to now use it. Um, again, like, the quality of this product is really great. It's just I need to remind myself to use it more often because I don't actually gravitate towards my face palettes as much. I'm going to start doing a shop moustache and try to rotate in a palette or two palettes each month and kind of see how that goes. Then I've got two palettes from Dior. I've got this one, which is 01, I believe yeah so this is a universal palette this is so nice i love these products this face palette is honestly it's delicious it's like the way to describe it i really enjoyed using it and this is like 40 pounds which is a lot i know but it's definitely amazing and i love it so much um i was very easily influenced into buying this palette so that's gonna stay i then have o2 which is the glitz palette and these are like slightly more peachy and um tones but this is also really, really nice. I'm definitely going to keep this as well. I have a couple of e.l.f. palettes, but this is one of them in the shade Pomegranate. And I really like that shade of blush. The highlighter, I don't really know if it's going to actually work on me or not. But that, um, that blush is so nice. I'm going to keep it just for that. Um, I've got this NARS Orgasm X palette. Um, but this one, I'm kind of thinking of letting go if it would kindly open. Because one of these blushes don't actually show up on my skin. I think it was this one doesn't really show up. This one was the one I don't really like that much. But then it's just, I'm left with the highlighter. But the highlighter is a little bit deeper for me anyway. So I think I'm going to let this go. Um, I might give it to my mum if she wants to, like, use it for a little while. And yeah, but this is going to leave my collection. This might be the one and only face palette that goes. I've got this one by Mount Cosmetics. And this is their, like, Amour collection, I think it was. Um, this is a face palette. I don't know when and if I'm ever going to use that shade, but the rest of these are so nice. Like, again, that kind of colour is, like, a go-to 
um, blush and read that probably will be like more of a bronzer shade I don't know but we'll see this is a quite a nice palette I'm gonna keep that as well um, I've got another Charlotte Tilbury one this is their pillow talk beautify beautifying face palette I regret not buying the other shade in this as well because it was more like a deeper I think it had more of a reddish tone this is really nice and stuff I just regret not getting the other one too but that's gonna stay I've got this one by Iconic London and I got this in like a beauty box some you know sometimes when like on cult beauty and other like online re retailers they've got like um, a trial box so you get like four to maybe six products um and it's in a discounted price and you get to try loads of different things i got this then and honestly i'm not gonna lie a lot of iconic london products are really really good i just haven't used this palette yet um obviously that's not really a highlight option for me i might use that as a bit of a bronzer i don't really know how it's gonna work because obviously you don't know you don't want it to be too shimmery or i'll use it on my mum um but the rest of these i would love to like dig into um i think this is now i've got a few more palettes here so i've got two others from elf yeah this one i absolutely adore i wish elf sold that as a single on its own and like a big like um eight nine gram pack of like a product because i would buy that probably 10 of those but this is such a nice shade i just wish more brands had this particular kind of color available this highlighter also just really pops off um this is in cantaloupe which honestly is that is so nice i'm gonna keep that that's not going anywhere and i'm gonna try to replace that as well then i've got spiced apple and this is also really stunning um and i'm gonna keep this as well also it's in like four pounds so that's you really can't go wrong with that my last palette is by Jouer and this is a Champagne and Macron palette. This is quite an old palette and I'm worried that the formula on this might um, start to like stop working as well. Like on this bronzer I feel like sometimes it's just, maybe because I don't actually suit that bronzer but I would really like to use this up and pan this. So I might do like a pan, pan that face palette and make this be that um, product. Um, I'm going to start off with my liquid lipsticks because that is what I feel I have the least of and um, I feel like this would probably also be the easiest one to do and manage. Um, I did do a declutter, I want to say around two months ago already. Um, and I did let go of a couple of lip products, which I'll show you kind of afterwards. Um, but I just wanted to kind of go through the rest of this one more time to make sure that I've let go of everything that I really don't want to keep in my collection. Um, but yeah, as you can see, there's literally not much here to start off with, but let's get on with it anyway okay so the first product is this rare beauty um lip souffle in fearless i keep this and other products like this in my liquid lip category this is a really nice um neutrally kind of shade and i really like that so i'm gonna keep that which i'll just put the back over here then i have this linda holberg liquid lipstick in the shade deep nugget and i've only recently just bought this actually when they had like a sale on their outlet products that's a really nice color um i've always i've been looking for that type of cool tone nude for a while so that's a keep i have this one and only liquid lipstick from too faced it's the melted matte in the shade cinnamon bear this is a collection they released i want to say two years ago um for like Christmassy time um I'm not gonna lie it is it was actually a really lovely collection um that's just what that swatch looks like it is also a really good formula um so I'm gonna keep this one I've got these two from <coughs> Odin's Eye this is the shade Apricot Girl and this is also really lovely it's a really like kind of easy color to wear I'm gonna keep that one and the other one I have from Odin's Eye is the shade Ripe Papaya. I actually really like this colour. That's so gorgeous. I'm going to keep... I have quite a few from Kaleidos, but I'm just going to put them to the side and come back to them. Because I feel like I might declutter some of these. Um, that's also Kaleidos. Right, I've got this one by Melt Cosmetics. This is a shade Earthling. I have to say, some of their lip products are such unique colors um i just wish they were more available in the uk like that color is so nice it's actually quite watery which means i should probably okay because it's literally leaking like this i'm gonna declutter that because 
that I'm pretty sure I was going to get everywhere. But that would have been a really nice colour. Like a grey toned, I guess pink you could say. Um, but that's going to go. Just wiped it off because I obviously didn't want it to be leaking everywhere. I have three from Milk Cosmetics and their Beetlejuice collection. Which was honestly a really good like overall collection that they released that's that one which is like really dark plummy purple this is supposed to be the shade weirder and weirder i'm going to keep that then i have it's showtime which is a lighter purple and it just looks like that these are supposed to be kind of glittery i think um i'm not sure if they're supposed to be just used on its own or as like a lip stain because they do leave quite a stain on your lips as well and the last one is strange and unusual i don't really use this often like you've got to have a creative look in order to actually try like to use these because look at how glittery those are um but they are very pretty i'm going to keep all three of those i've got this one by nyx this was gifted to me by someone on my birthday this is the shade crystal crush and that just looks like that i think this is supposed to act as like a topper shade and that also is just so stunning so i'm gonna keep that then i have this shade in the nick um in the nyx liquid suede i think this oh this is called vintage or retro and this that's actually a really nice color these two would go so well together so i need to really try that as a look one day i've got this look stain by anastasia beverly hills in the shade um gray mauve this type of color is what I, I love obviously that's a lip stain so that's that the you know, best swatch i can get um this actually is really gorgeous but obviously when you do use a lip stain you've got to like really hydrate <laughs> your lips then i have this one by huda beauty in the shade queen of Sheba that's what that looks like and that's actually a really nice colour um I have two more from Huda Beauty which is again a gift I think it was on my birthday that this was gifted to me this is the shade Muse which is a really gorgeous pink and then I got the because it was a gift set this came as a topper and this is the shade Angelic which just looks like that, which is so stunning. Like, just look at that, gorgeous. So I'm keeping all of those. Then my, um, that just leaves me with all of my Kaleido's lip products. So this is probably the oldest one. It's a lip tonic, which they discontinued a long time ago. This was in the shade Immersion, which just looks like that. It's actually a really good formula. I'm a bit sad that they discontinued it, but this smells absolutely fine, so I'm going to keep that. I'm going to go through these. So this is the shade Terror, which is a really nice, like, burnt orangey colour. That's actually an absolute favourite. That smells fine, so I'm going to keep that. Then we've got Dune, which I'll just... Again, that's a really good formula. Um, a really good shade as well so i'm gonna keep that this is the shade abode i think these are slightly trying um starting to dry out a little bit but which means i need to start using a little bit more that's again a really good like neutral shade i'm gonna keep that of course then i have the last one in this collection which is sienna i think again this is like a really good like a neutrally color so i'm gonna keep that too um, i have to say like collider's lip products are so 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 good um then the, this was probably the first collection that i got and this is the i don't remember the name of the collection but this is a shade agave which is a really cool like blue color like a bluey green color i'm gonna keep that because that's actually really unique in my collection then I have this bright pink, pinky red, which is Cactus Flower, which just looks like that. I highly doubt I'd wear a colour like this. And the only time I'd actually wear that is if I'm doing like a creative look, which requires me to use that. But I'm still going to keep it because I don't really 
have many colors like that then we've got mahogany which is a really gorgeous like a deeper brown shade that's so nice and then the last one we have is dahlia which is like this red like a deeper red shade which again is really nice and that's great for like the autumn winter time especially because that color is seems to be like really in season at the moment as well so that i'm pretty much keeping all of what i had just letting go of this not because my next one because it's sneaky so that means i've kept 23 products let go of this one from today and previously i'd let go of all of these this one's not expired so i decided to clutter that these three i got from aliexpress just to try um but the formulation is so terrible so those had to go i've got this nice one it's so liquidy it leaked all over my bed sheets and it's sustained my bed which is so sad but that's gonna go this one also smelt really bad expired so did this one even though the shade was absolutely stunning these two are so old by morphe i can't lie their liquid lip their liquid lip formula is so good but i don't really buy from them anymore and i haven't bought from them in a couple of years but they were so old they had to go this was having the same issue as the other milk product which i let go of today because for some reason they just get really leaky and i hate that i don't want, want that mess in my drawer this one also smelt really expired okay just in total i am letting go of 12 liquid lip products also should probably save this to the end because look how stained my hand is now and next i've decided to just go ahead and tackle my biggest lip category which is actually all of my lipsticks there is a lot i don't even know the exact amount that I have, but I think it's definitely over 70. Who needs this many lipsticks? God knows. Um, but I'm gonna go through all of these. Most of them I'm gonna keep some. I'm gonna I'm gonna give to my mom because she's asked me for some um lipsticks as well. And the others, if there's anything inspired, I will be letting go of or anything that's too old. Um also any like formulations which are like quite terrible and patchy. So I'll just start off from here and kind of work my way to the back. The first one is this elf lipstick in the shade Nectar. This is a really nice colour. I'm going to have to swatch here now. Um, but I don't think that tone is right for me. I'm going to put this to the side. And I'm going to try it. And if not, I'm going to give that to my mum. I've got this one by Milk Cosmetics. And this shade is so nice. I love this for when I want to do like a grungier look. That's got to stay for sure. You can pry that out of my cold dead hands. I've got this one by um, Illamasqua in the shade Souffle, um, which is this like deeper brown lipstick. And that's just what that looks like. That's actually quite nice. I'm going to keep that too. I've got this one by Revolution in the shade Spice, which I think is quite similar to this one. That is so similar. I'm, I think I'm going to keep the e.l.f. one and let go of this one and give this one to my mum because I think she would prefer actually i'm gonna think on that i'm gonna put both of those in the maybes and then kind of see i've got this one from odin's eye and this is the shade um light peach yeah and that's what that looks like that's actually really nice i'm gonna keep that i can just kind of sit back there i've got another one from milk cosmetics which is this like pinky like shade that looks like that or well it's more purpley i suppose but i'm going to keep that as well because the formula on this is actually really nice i've got this one from abh in the shade blush brown and this is a really lovely like nude so i'm going to keep that as well i've got some from charlotte tilbury and i'm going to keep all of them this is the shade love liberty and it's honestly a really lovely um, red-toned shade. Then I have Pillar Talk Medium, which is this one. And that's actually really nice. I'm going to keep that as well. I think if you're more on like the medium, um, medium tone and more, that's definitely the Pillar Talk for you. The, the original one, that can be really light and sometimes wash you out. So I probably wouldn't recommend that. This is by Gosh in the shade orchid which is quite nice as well i'm gonna keep this one because i really like that shade i've got this one and only lip product from victoria beckham but i got it in like the cult beauty advent calendar that's really nice and that formula seems really good like really like soft and 
um, it, it glides on and hydrating is what I'm trying to go for. I've got these three here from Morphe. These are all quite old. Their ultra matte formula was actually quite horrible to use. So I'm going to let these ones go. And these are also really, really old, so they've got to go. I've got three here from Melt, but this is part of their Beetlejuice collection. I've got Ghost with the Most, which is this green colour. That just looks like that. I'm going to keep these because I really love that collection when it came out. Then I've got Miss Argentina, which is this beautiful red. I'm going to keep that as well. And the last one I have in this collection is Calypso, which is this purple shade. Again, that's so nice. But I love the actual like artwork on this lipstick. Hopefully the camera's picking that up. But yeah, no, it's just so gorgeous. So I'm going to keep those. I'm not going anywhere. I've got this one from Becca in the shade Sea Petal, which looks like that. I don't know about this one. I'm going to put it to the side. Gonna also move these back a little bit more. Then I've got this one in Storm by Elamasca, and I really like that kind of silvery grey colour. I'm gonna keep that in case I do decide to do any like funky kind of looks. I've got this one from Rimmel, Rimmel in the shade Asia, which is this really nice kind of. Okay, these two are very similar, so I'm gonna keep this one, and I'm gonna give this Becca one to my mum. So that can kind of go to the side. I have two from Artitude Cosmetics. One's the shade Conquer and the other one is Legacy. Both are reds. That's a really nice, like, true kind of red, I guess. I'm going to keep that. Also, the formula of these lipsticks are really good. Um, and then there's this one, which is more a darker shade, which is Legacy. Both of these are so nice to use. I'm going to keep them both. I've got this one in a lipstick from Cash Beauty. Um, that's a really nice nude colour, so I'm going to keep that one as well. I've got this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This was part of the Chinese Lunar Year um, release. That's actually quite nice, kind of a burnt orange shade. So I'm going to keep this one. I've got this one from Dose of Colours, and this is the Mickey Mouse collab. This is currently gross, but it's also part of my um, 50 Shades of Yellow Gold. I'm going to keep that because it's actually a really good nude. And I do get a lot of use out of this, so that can stay. Also, I'm hoping to pan that by um, by the end of the project next year, which is like April. I've got this one from Gucci, which my cousin gave me. Again, it's another red and I kind of ruined it. I don't know how the hell that happened. Um, but that's like a nice... It's more like a translucent kind of red, which is really nice. I'm going to keep this. I've got another one from Gosh. This is the shade Nugget, which is quite a nice nude. I'm going to keep that. got this one from MAC in the shade Taupe. Taupe. However you want to say it. And um, this like that kind of brownie tone, which is really nice. So I'm going to keep this one as well. I honestly thought I'd probably get rid of a few more, but turns out maybe not. Got this one from Beauty Bane, it's a shade Cola. This was gifted to me by a friend over on Instagram. We did like a birthday slash Christmas swap. Um, that's the shade. It's actually a really nice deep brown. I'm going to keep this because I don't think I have actual deep browns like this in my collection. I've got another one from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Pillow Talk. This is the original one, which looks like that. That can stay. I've got this one by YSL in the shade. Um, it doesn't actually say for some reason. So I'll just swatch that for you guys instead. Which is like this. It's actually quite a nice colour. So also this is very similar to the other two that I swatched earlier from Elf and Revolution. So I'll see. Um, I've got this one, which is also new from Linda Holberg. When you run out of space, you just got to kind of swatch anyway. That's what that looks like. And that's actually a really nice um, brown nude lipstick. That's going to stay. Another two from Charlotte Tilbury. I've got Catwalking, which is like a very neutrally kind of nude shade. That's quite similar to Pillow Talk. It's a little bit more like... I want to say more like a 
brown nude but i'm going to keep this one as well because that's really nice and the last one is am i kiss i don't know why that took me so long to try and read um which is more of like um a deeper kind of nude leaning a little bit more on like the purpley side i guess so i'm going to keep those ones i've got two others from odin's eye this is the shade red cherry and honestly for somebody that doesn't wear a lot of reds i sure do have plenty but that's going to stay because it's a really nice red um then i also have love jasmine and this is their cream formula the others were like more on the matte side um again that's so nice that's going to stay i've got this one from l'oreal paris this is this is the shade no shame honestly i've used so much of this this is my favorite nude like that's already more than halfway gone i'm pretty sure um that looks like that that's my absolute favorite go-to and honestly i need to buy like a backup of this because i'd be so good if that ends up becoming discontinued like i will cry that's how sad it is i've got this one from max factor which i've previously panned actually i think panned it last year that's a really nice kind of pink i'm gonna keep that one i've got this other one from mac and a shade twig this is also really nice so that's a nice pinky tone i'm gonna keep this one as well um i've got this first pot here of like some of my um lipsticks there's this one from elf this is a very orange shade this is parmesan no persimmon i always get it wrong i don't know why um that's what that looks like the formula of this isn't actually that great but i want to try it just off one time to see if an orange actually suits me and then i'm going to give this to my mom because i think that'll actually look a lot nicer on her so that's actually declutter that's going to my mom i've got some of these here from elf and i know i don't actually like all of these and i have one more so the one i know that i'm definitely going to keep is this uh, this one in the shade black cherry which obviously is the dupe for the clinique um lip product so that's going to stay i'll just do a quick swatch of that um excuse how gross it is because yeah that's just what that looks like which, honestly it's so good it's gonna stay um i've got this one this is in shade dragon fruit it's a really vibrant pink which i don't really think i'm gonna use but i'm gonna keep this to the side for now just in case um i've got this one in the shade cherry slush i've used this one previously and i actually really liked this one so that one's gonna stay the one that i know i'm definitely letting go of is this one in the shade grapefruit I was expecting this to be a lot more sheer, but it's actually not. That is definitely not a shade that suits me, so that's got to go. I'm not even going to bother giving it to my mum, that's just going to go in the bin, because these are also kind of on the older side. The um, one of the last ones I have is Wild Peach. Yeah, Wild Peach, which looks like that, and that's actually quite nice. I'm going to keep this one as well. Then I've got three here from Colourpop. Um, I have the shade Red Hot, which is on the more deeper side. Oops. I was not expecting it to go up that much, which is like that. Um, that one's actually quite nice. It's also very similar to the Elf, Elf one. I'm going to keep this one, give the other one to my mum, which was the shade Dragon Fruit. So that one she can have. And then I've got this one in the shade Candy Kisses, which just looks like that that's also a very nice kind of soft uh lipstick and the last one is tickled pink which i'm not the biggest fan of because just yeah um that's what it looks like but i think i'm gonna keep this one because i would love to definitely give that a go um i'm gonna keep those and i've got this one from fenty beauty in the shade midnight wasabi that took me a lot longer to look for I anticipated um and that's what that looks like that's also a really like interesting green it's different to the one that i already have so i'm definitely going to keep this because i do love to do like funky colored lip like makeup looks again this is like so gross but it's one of those lipsticks that have like completely melted it don't get me wrong it's such a nice shade but 
because of how messy it is to use i'm just gonna get rid of this because it's just it, there's literally no point the last one from the elf collection the seriously satin one is in the shade cider oh my gosh which looks like that and i'm gonna keep that one because that's actually really nice next up is another tub of lipsticks this one is from illamasca i think this is one that broke yeah this one broke um this is what the shade looks like here this is actually really nice i'm going to keep this one for now and kind of play around with it and then kind of see from there i've got my one and only from vive cosmetics in the shade diety which is that which is really nice and actually that's a good replacement for the um previous revolution one which i had to get rid of another one from odin's eye is the shade tulip kiss which is like a deeper brown and the formula of this is actually really good so i'm going to keep that this orange crush is also a really good um shade from elf and i'm going to keep that oops i just stained my table that's fine um i've got two from Huda, but before that i'll go for this other masker one this is in the shade <clears throat> obsess okay i'm running out of space but that's fine that's a really nice color actually this is a good replacement for that milk because makes liquid lipstick so that can stay that's great i've got this one from bare minerals and this is in the shade courage again i have so many reds i don't know if that's something i want to keep i'll swatch it next to my other reds and see if no this is more on the brighter side so because this red is on more on the brighter side i'm going to keep this one as well i've got this one from ted baker and i really hate that color i've used it with a liquid lipstick i've used it with a lip liner i've used it on its own i've tried it in various ways i don't like this at all this one can honestly happily go um i've got two others from huda beauty one is in the shade this is dirty 30 it's a really good kind of cool toned purple i'm going to keep this one this one feels like a good replacement for that dose of colors of calypsticks uh as well that i had to get rid of earlier so that's always a positive this is in the shade wedding day i think my cousins and i decided this was a good dupe for the pillar talk one um in medium which i think was this one here like it's a pretty decent dupe so that's going to stay as well uh, i've got these ones here which this is a dior one this is like a mini that i got as part of like a free gift of purchase this is their rouge 999 in the satin formula um which is that that's so gorgeous i'm gonna keep this one i've got this from bare minerals in the shade honey i'm gonna keep that too because that's really nice I got this black lipstick from Mel Cosmetics and honestly I remember when this came out all the girls that I kind of followed on Instagram we all kind of went crazy over this and I think we collectively all bought the same lip product which is crazy that's what that looks like this is the shade Bane it's honestly it's such it's so good it's not going anywhere I've got a couple more from MAC this is the shade Velvet Teddy honestly it's so nice I'm going to try to pan some more of my like mini lipsticks next year because they take up there's such little product in here and they do take up a decent amount of room so that's why I'm going to try to do that this is in the shade Diva it's more on the drier side but it's a more unique colour to my collection so I'm going to keep that I've got my one Pat McGrath lipstick in the shade Fembot It's a good pink that's gonna stay i've got a couple of these really tiny milk cosmetics lip products i don't know why they're so tiny because but they are so cute so i'll just swatch them my hand because i think it'll be a bit easier that's not the most favorite color for me but i'm gonna keep that because it's just so tiny also it's better to keep this one than the other one from ted baker because it's also something i can actually use up I've got this one from Milk Cosmetics. That's a really nice nude. I love that one. The first one was the shade Shameless. The one I've just swatched is Saucy. I've got Undercover, which is like that. 
not another favorite but oh we can't even see that's actually a pretty decent nude the formula of these isn't actually that bad so that's fine this is suntan this i think has just broken as well but that is so nice that can stay then i have dilemma which is probably the lightest nude i could have in my collection and that looks like that that's definitely something that I'm going to have to use like an inner lip moment. Um, but that's that one. <clears throat> and then my last like pot of lipsticks is one of these. Mostly NARS in a Masca and one Dior. This is the shade, again, 999, but this is in the velvet formula. Um, but it's just such a nice red. So I'm going to keep that as well. I've got this one from NARS in the shade Orgasmic, but this is the Saturn formula. Which just looks like that. That's actually quite an interesting colour, so I'm going to keep that one. I've got two minis. This one is in the shade Rose Cliff. This is the Saturn formula. It's a really nice nude, actually. I'm gonna keep that one. And then this was in the shade of Raw Seduction. Just look at that. Um, I think I'm gonna keep that one for now actually as well. And the last few are all from Elamasca. This is the shade Maple, and I think I might have this one twice in here, which is kind of sad, but that's just what Maple looks like. That's a really nice nude colour. Again, I'm going to try to pan some of these minis next year, because they do take up a decent amount of space in my collection. I've got Midnight, which is another red. I'll be really surprised at this point. No not that is actually a really lovely like bright red color so that's gonna be um staying i've got this one in the shade bang sorry you can't even see because i'm blocking the camera um just like that that's a really nice color as well actually i'm gonna keep that too and then the last one is the shade bear which is like that i'm gonna keep that too um i have decided to keep most of my lip products but what i'm gonna do is do a once over and see if there's anything that either is too similar or i don't think i'm gonna keep okay so after like counting and recounting i have decided i'm gonna like um keep 70 lipsticks which again is still quite a lot of lip products but i'm kind of gonna try to go through these as much as i can and also do a lot of short mustaches so then if I do find a lipstick which either has a formula that's really terrible, the lipstick doesn't suit me, I don't like the product, anything like that, I'll then just declutter. And then I'm going to let go of these um, nine products. So that pink I've got quite a few of so I can give that to my mum. This one needs to go in the bin. This orange is going to go to my mum because I think that would really look nice to her. I don't like the shade of that. These three are long expired. This one, I think, again, will suit my mum. And this one is like a really terrible pink. So that one can go. So that's still quite a decent amount to come out of my collection. It's just that I need to probably pump the bricks on buying lip products, especially lipsticks, and try to get as much use as I can out of the ones I already have before they expire. Okay, so next up, I've decided to go through all of my lip liners, even though I'm pretty sure I'm going to keep all of them. But I just want to make sure nothing has dried out, nothing is expired, because I know some of these are a little bit more on the older side i think i have one of these as part of a project pan the rest are just kind of hair um but yeah i guess let's just get started because <laughs> there's no other way about it the first one i have is from zoeva this is the shade if i can find it i want to see, i don't know if that's the actual name of it which is blooming inspiration um but it doesn't really say anything else so i'm going to just go for that so that's what that looks like. And that's actually a really nice kind of... You can't even see that. 
that's a really nice neutral that can say i'll do the creamy formulas afterwards i'll do the pencils first and that's actually a creamy formula i don't know what that is that's all creams so i wouldn't be surprised if i find some creamy products that have become expired um but yeah so these are all like the more like the other formula which you've got to sharpen but also these are more um drier whereas the other ones are more creamy but this is a favorite nude this is from barry i'm gonna show you toasted i need to sharpen that this is the one that's part of my project but i really love that this with the dose of colors lipstick is just so nice i don't know why it's not focusing okay hope you can see that um next i have this one by 1999 in the shade neutral which just looks like that it's again like a really neutral color that's really nice i'm gonna keep that i've got this one by steve Laurent in the shade Vogue and this is also a really nice colour that I'm going to keep because that's actually really gorgeous but the pencil is so long so it doesn't even fit in my um, storage pots properly so I might just put that in my everyday makeup section then I've got this one by NYX that's actually not bad colour this is the shade wait it looks a bit funky though and I don't know if that's just the wax but I'm going to let this one go that was the shade Brunch Me that could be decluttered um, because we're not taking any risks. Then I've got this one by Illamasqua in the shade Revealed, which is like a deep brown. That's really nice because I don't actually have any dark browns in my collection, so I can keep that. I've got this one again, well, by Diego Dalla Palma in the shade, I think that's a shade name, I don't really know. But it's a really nice like pinky colour that's really gorgeous i can keep that i've got one by huda beauty in the shade muse this is so nice i actually thought this was like a more for the other pencil but this is a creamy formula and this is really nice i do love a more creamy eye lip liner um i've got this one by vive in the shade stupid cupid okay another one i didn't realize was more creamier but that's also really nice i'm going to keep this one i've got another one by the weaver this is Earthbound. That's another really nice one. Even though I've got similar shades, that's fine because I know I'm going to go for all of my lip uh, lip liners. This one is by Cash Beauty in the shade Vintage Rose. This is another really nice shade. Like, look how gorgeous that is. I hope this is actually focusing so you can see the actual lip products. Um, I've got this one by Linda Holberg. This is Grage Core. I think this was supposed to be... I'm not sure if this is supposed to be an actual eyeliner or lip liner, but this colour I really wanted as a lip, like a lipstick product. Like any, I don't even know the word, but yeah, you guys know what I'm talking about. I've got this one from NYX in the shade Moonwalk. This one looks fine. And this is kind of more like a purpley, cool toned, grey purple. And I've got this one from NYX again, which is... Uh, this one's called Peach Don't Kill My Vibe. This is like a more of a peachy or orangey kind of shade. That's not too bad, actually. Um, I'm going to keep that one as my only kind of orange colour. The rest are all like really creamy formulas. This one's by Pat McGrath. This is the shade Suburbia. And that's what that looks like. I've got quite a few from Colourpop. I bought their big collection. This is the shade BFF3. This is a really nice neutral. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to keep all of my Colourpop's one, Colourpop ones because they're a really good formula. I've got this one in the shade Oh Snap, which is a pink. And that one's really nice. It's kind of going into the actual pencil, but it's not dry or anything. So I can keep using that. This is from Becca in the shade Blissful. Again, I only bought it because of Becca closing down. This is more on the drier side, but I'm going to keep this for now as well. Because that wouldn't take too long. This is in the shade Good and Plenty. If this is a completely, I don't even know if you can see that, there's literally nothing left in here. It's dried all the way down, so this one can go. I have this in the shade Minute Man, um, which is that, that's a nice nude. I've got this one by Re Revolution in the shade um, Fling, which is actually quite a nice colour. I'm going to keep that neutral nude, I just need to sharpen that. 
this is the shade bff4 this is also really nice but it's, these are kind of starting to dry a little bit because they're kind of going into the actual pencil this is the shade like control but ctrl this is a really nice brown actually i didn't realize i had so many deep browns so that's actually good to know i've got this one which i bought more on the recent side this is the shade con grade i remember like a few years ago this lip product was very popular but that's such a gorgeous shade love that one gonna keep that there's this very very nude product in bff gonna keep that one i've got this one by revolution surf x this is just one of the like more red tone lip liners that's what that looks like i'm currently trying to pan this one as well i've got this one from ColourPop in the shade beeper which just looks like that that one's also kind of going in on itself so i've got to really try to hurry up and start panning these this makeup revolution one is in the shade tgif and this is actually a really nice deep brown too i love that gonna keep this one my last two from ColourPop is this one is brink that's really nice and then i've got oops bff2 and that's also really nice so i'm gonna keep two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen 20, 22, 24, 26. I'm going to keep 28. I'm going to get rid of these two. Okay, so now I'm on to my lippies and, well, lip crayons. Um, And again, I just have so many lip products. Lip crayons are like an alternative to lipsticks. They're basically the same thing. They just come in like a different um shape. And I think you also get a slightly less product in a lip crayon as well. So there's just that to consider um some of these are really old but this color pop these white ones all color pop i got a set like i want to say two years ago i want to say two years ago i could easily be wrong and i've used up one of these and that was just because it was a lip primer absolutely hate the product but um i've only used one out of that entire pack so i'm going to just go through all of these and kind of swatch things and see what i want to keep what i don't want to keep and basically i might actually pass some of these colors to my mom um but yeah i don't know let's just i guess dive right into it first thing i'm gonna go for sure is this one by revlon this stinks um this is gonna go in the trash um and then i'll just start off with these because i know these are also going these two morphe ones they're actually really nice i've used up um i've panned quite a few of the morphe products already um in the lip crowns but these are so old they do also smell and one of them keeps breaking, so there's just no point. And this one, again, was also really old. But the formula of this and the colour of this was really, really good. This was about Honest Beauty. This is the shade Marsala, but it's spelled M-A-R-S-A-L-A. -A -A. This is a really nice formula as well. I just, I'm surprised there's not really much about Honest Beauty around. They're, one of the primers that I used from there was so good. Again, I can't find that. So I don't know if the brand has just been discontinued or no longer really available in the UK. But those four are definitely, like, going. Then I've got like my entire stack of ColourPop ones. The first one is in the shade Cookie. My hand is already so stained from all my previous swatches, but that's fine. That's what that looks like. That's actually a nice colour. So that can stay. Then we've got Parker. Most likely would we'll also keep... I'm going to keep most of my nudes. It's just the pinks and the reds that I might consider letting go of. That one's going to stay. I've got Little Tings. Literally, that's what it says. It's just a, um, that's quite a nice. I'm going to keep that as well. We've got Infinite Best. This looks like a really nice, like, brownie red. That is stunning. This is literally the kind of shade I was after, so it's really good to know I already got one in my collection and don't need to spend any money on buying new products. Then this is in the shade Songbird. These are supposed to be a matte formula, but they do feel slightly creamy. That's... A particular shade I might not wear, but I am going to keep this because I don't think I have many others like that. We've then got Topanga. That's actually an interesting shade, I'll be honest. And that's like that. That's actually quite nice. I'm going to keep this too. I at this stage, I, don't, I honestly don't think I'm going to get rid of rid of any more. This is at twilight. Um, this is an interesting neutral. That's going to stay um i know that with a lot of these moves i will get a lot of use out of them we've got goldie which is another max 
um, sorry, matte lip products. That's a nice red. I like that. I want to keep that one as well. We have this kind of more like brighter red in the shade Chi Chi. Um, it's like an orangey red. I'm glad I got rid of that elf orange because that's actually a lot nicer toned as well. We've got Casanova, which is this really like hot pink. Um, I don't think I have any shades that colour, so I'm going to keep that as well because I think that could be like a fun like Barbie moment. I've got the shade Love as well. This looks really nice, I'll be honest. That is actually really gorgeous. That can stay. We've also got Ziggy. So that's a nice brown shade. I like that. The formula of these seems really nice and soft as well, which I do like. We've also got the shade. Bichetta. I'm pretty sure that's incorrect, but, you know, we're just going to go with that. That's a nice red. Actually, I quite like that. It, but it's very different to what the actual packaging shows. Um, but yeah, I'm going to keep that one. There's, I love this as well. That's very similar to the other pink. But again, not really something that I have. I'm going to keep that as well. Um, we've got 1000%. I wonder if this is a red or an actual brown. Okay, that's a nice deep brown. I'm going to keep that because I don't think I've got anything that dark in the brown shade. I've got Kami, um, which is a nice kind of pinky nude that can stay. I've got Trust Me, which I think is another red. Yep. Oh, that could, that's a good, like um, a true uh, red in a... Like, I like that. That's going to stay. That's a really nice bright red. Um, and then I've got a Brink, which is there. So these are actually really nice. Okay, I'm going to be keeping 18 and they're all the Colourpop ones. And I'm letting go of these four. But these are all to be like trashed but recycled. Because um, there's a Terra Recycle in the UK as well. So I'm just going to put all of these in. Next up is all of my glosses. And this will then make it the last part of my lip category. Um, which sorry i just kicked the tripod but that honestly is a lot i generally don't know if i'm gonna get rid of any of my glosses um because i do love a good gloss but again i just have so many i don't understand why i have so many lip products and i don't really go through as many lip glosses liquid lipsticks as i would do an actual lipstick so yeah um i'm just gonna take everything out one at a time kind of swatch things and also sniff them because you just got to be careful with lip products if they start smelling chemically play doughy you know they've expired and it's time to go now the first product is one of my lip oils from artitude cosmetics um i do actually really love the product it is a very it's probably the most hydrating lip, lip oil i've actually used i bought the pack of six so i've got all of the six flavors of scents um i'm gonna keep all of them because they're honestly really good i'm just gonna stick it on that side i've got this one by fenty in the shade honey waffles this I'm really worried about my Fenty products because I've, in the past, I found that Fenty lip, especially lip, lip, the lip products, they go off really quickly. And I just can't tell, like, sometimes they feel that they kind of smell expired, sometimes they don't. So I don't know if that's just the smell of the actual product. But I'm going to keep this for now until the smell kind of changes a little bit more. Um, I've got this one here by Odin Zion, the shade Lady Camellia. Um... This is quite a new product. That's really nice. I'm going to keep this one. That's quite an interesting um, gloss for myself. I've got these by... I've got the pack of six from Lois Cosmetics. Her formula is also really nice. And they're really good, like a nude um, gloss. I do love that a lot about this. Like That is just such a divine shade. This is um, Running Late. Um, honestly, I love that so much. I've got a couple of these Lux oils... Oh, Lux glosses, sorry. <clears throat> by colour pop but i found that these are really sickly sweet like i don't like this one of these because it's just so sweet and that kind of i don't know it's just not for me but i am still going to keep those that's a nice kind of nude as well i do tend to go for like um, a nude gloss on top of my uh, like nude lipsticks as well we've got colour pop well, this one was the shade all grown up we've got another one by colour pop this is the so glassy in, the, in solana um this is a nice shade as well. It's very like 
nude you can't really see that very well but i do like that too and there's also more on a newer size that I can stay i've got this one by old design the shade water lily that can also stay which reminded me i think one of my odin's eye lip products is actually broken and i can't tell and i can't remember which one it was and i'm gonna assume it was for my liquid lipstick so i might need to go back and declutter that i've got this one by joy that's an interesting shade and it smells fine even though it's more on the older side i'm gonna keep this one i've got another one by fenty this is a shade mole vibes which is a really nice that's such a lovely tone I like that as well, so I'm going to keep this. I don't know if I've got any more Odin's eye products. Probably do. I've got this one by Iconic London. I do like the lip products and just Iconic London products in general because I feel like they're really, really good. This is supposed to be like um, a lip plumper. I don't really like lip plumpers. They're horrible. But this is, I think, one of the last ones I have. I'm going to keep this because, honestly, I really do like and enjoy using Iconic London products. I've got this one by L'Oreal. It's a nice, very nude kind of lip lip gloss, I suppose. This is the shade. I don't actually have it on here because I took the sticker off. Oh, no, it's not. It's in the top. It's B Feline. Um, I've got this one by Makeup Revolution. It's the Pout Bomb Glosses, and this is Glaze. I do like a clear gloss sometimes. So I'm going to keep that. This is the shade Eternal Flame. Another one by Colourpop. Um... That's quite nice. I'm going to keep that too. I generally could not say if I'm going to get rid of any of my glosses or not. But um, if not, at least you guys get to see the collection that I have. This is another one by Artitude Cosmetics. This is Cheeky Cherry. This is also really nice. I love that. I've got this one by Viva Cosmetics. This is the Lip Dew. I got this as part of my Cult Beauty Advent Calendar. I do like using this. This is also part of my... Um, uh, what do you call it? My Fifty Shades of Yellow Gold project, and I really enjoy using that um, for like a no on a no makeup makeup look kind of days when I just go for brows, lashes, and like a nice lip product. I've got this one, but off. This is the shade Tropical Fruit Punch, which looks like that. Which I'm gonna keep as well. This one by Revolution Pro in the shade Become. Um, I have previously panned one of these, but it was the glittery one. And that was definitely an interesting one to pan, but I do like that. And it smells absolutely fine, even though it's more on the older side. When I say older side, I don't think any of my lip glosses are more than like two years old at this stage. I could be wrong, but I think that's how old the oldest ones are. This was, this is Peach pouch this is one of the i think christmasy collections either one or two years ago and i do like that but again i think i need to really focus in on using my fenty glosses um that's something i'm gonna have to do soon this is the nyx live it loud no shine loud lip products um i just remember that these were so hyped up at one point i'm not sure if this is supposed to be a gloss or a liquid lipstick but i keep it in my gloss category i believe um, so that can just stay there. I've got another one by e.l.f. This is their lip lacquer in the shade Moody. I'll say this is also quite a nice, like, neutral gloss. It smells fine as well. I do worry about my e.l.f. products too, because I feel like e.l.f. is another brand which products do expire more, like, quicker than others. Um, this, like, nice blue one by e.l.f. in the shade electric lemonade that's actually really nice i've got another one by altitude cosmetics this is the coconut craze i'm gonna keep that without a doubt um we've got another fenty this is in uh it just says fenty glow fantasy this is actually really nice i do like that and it smells fine too so that I can stay but i'm really gonna need to try to pan some of those glosses next year this is the so glossy in the shade poppy i really like this kind of pinky um shade that's what it looks like this is quite glue no well, not glue but sticky for gloss which isn't really my favorite formula but i'm still going to use it because i do like the color um we've got this also one as well this is like a lip cream in the shade colic quits and i i just wanted like a really nice dark 
brown one as well that just looks like that like that's pretty sick so i'm going to keep that as well um i got this one by revolution and this was the nightmare before christmas collab this is actually a pretty decent collaboration i can't lie um packaging was quite cool i'm gonna keep this as well because it's quite nice this is sally don't know why i forgot her name there for a minute um then i've got four of these ones but this one is called carnation i do quite like kvd products i don't really have much of them um but they are quite nice and that's like a really nice like gloss I've got this nude one as well from them in the shade Blossom, which again is such a nice neutral colour. I'm going to keep this one. I've got this one from Bobbi Brown, which I'm currently using as part of my Project 23 products. This is the shade Force of Nature and I honestly love the formula of these Bobbi Brown glosses. I'm generally quite surprised by this formulation. This is probably the, the exact type of formula I would want in a gloss and I would look for and this is just so divine call me dramatic but honestly it feels that way this is miss kana in from odin's eye sorry i think this is yeah this is the one that's broken so that's sadly gonna go i will do a swatch anyway and show you what that looks like which is that that would have been such a nice kind of color for the season i'm kind of glad that the dofa broke but it is what it is um we can't control some things which is fine i've got this one by um charlotte tilbury this is peachy plump this is another lip plumping kind of gloss i feel it was kindly come out um and i do love the wand on here because i don't know if you can see that but that's like in the shape of heart and i think that's so cute but that's a nice gloss as well i'm going to keep that more from ColourPop. this is a shade rebel um again this I found that these ones do smell really sickly sweet so wouldn't purchase them again but it is a really nice gloss um got this plumping gloss from beauty bay this is like a free gift for purchase i believe in the shade fizz that's nice nude as well so that can stay i've got this lip oil by your in the shade of coral i will say that this is not hydrating in any way and i feel like this lip oil does disappear really quick compared to the artitude one and that was a lot cheaper but you do get more product in this than you do in the artitude one um but i did speak to the owner and she, well she let me know that she's gonna once all of these run out she's gonna buy it she's gonna change the packaging completely so that'd be quite interesting to see sorry i keep kicking the actual like tripod um i've got another one by lois cosmetics this is a shade reschedule this is a really nice another like deeper brown that's so good i love it um <laughs> i've got another one by lois and this is your mute i think i've got one of these glosses i have twice i'm not sure why but that again is such a nice and neutral nude i've got this one by tower 28 so this is one of their um like Christmassy collections. This is the shade Coconut. I do like that. I just can't tell if this is expired. And it does smell a bit off. So I'm going to let this one go. And I've just stained my table again. That's great. Um, I've got another one by Tower 28. But this is the Clear Gloss. But I am still going to sniff it just in case. This one smells fine. So this one can stay. I've got another Clear Bot <laughs> Gloss by Revolution this this time it's by revolution pro um i don't know why they've got so many sub brands but anyway i'm going to keep this one because i do love a clear gloss i've got another clear gloss this this is the plumping one by collection cosmetics this is like three pounds and this is honestly it's such a good gloss um i'm gonna keep that i've got another one by bobby brown this is the shade in the buff again this formula is just so good i love it so much i'm gonna keep that um gonna keep this one as well by revolution because it's another clear gloss i did not realize i had so many clear glosses note to self no more clear gloss products um i've got another one by kvd this is the shade tulip this is such a nice like red i don't know how i feel about red in like a glossy formula because they can sometimes really easily smudge 
but um i'll try it out and see how it goes there's this darker red which i love that particular shade that's really nice for this season but this is the shade hollyhock okay but these had like um a rebranding since these products come out so they wouldn't have those i think they were just like a christmas um selection i think like two years ago again i had a really bad spending habit two years ago i mean they're still bad it's just not as bad i like this like black gloss from elf this is so cool this is the shade cookie dreams which is cool i like that i got this one by charlotte tilbury in the shade pink gasm sunset this is so nice um doesn't really smell of anything so that's good if you don't like your products to be scented but that's gonna stay there's also like a recent like a more recent purchase this bobby brown one's called rose sugar again absolutely love the formula actually no this is a different formula to the one i do like um but this is also like a nice kind of basic nude gloss that you can wear on a daily basis um another one from loy's in the shade promotion gonna keep that one I really like this gloss from Colourpop and this is the Hocus Pocus from the Hocus Pocus collection. That's so cool. I like that. That's nice. That can stay. Um, this one from Lawyers is called Long Weekend. Just start swatching them here now. That's quite a nice colour. I do like that. Um... From e.l.f. this is the shade Wild Rose. That just, it's quite pigmented actually, that's quite nice. That can stay. I've got another Fenty gloss in the shade Champ, Champ Stamp Fantasy. I was going to say Champagne. Um, that's quite a nice gloss as well. The formula on the Fenty glosses is so good, but I'm just worried because they expire really quick. Um, I've had one or two of them go off on them previously, and that was so sad. This is the shade of Running Late. Again, I just can't remember which one of these I previously had before I bought the full pack. Um, now I'm just getting gloss everywhere. I've got another one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the shade Pink Gasm. Um, if it could kindly open that's what that looks like that's actually pretty nice but the elf one of course is a dupe for it so if that's available you can just get that um i've got this juicy oh this nyx juice gloss in guava snap i haven't actually used this yet but that's just what that looks like and I really like that like slight orangey tone. That can stay. I've got this one again from the Cookies and Cream collection. Like that's an actually interesting white kind of gloss. And that can stay. Another clear gloss that can stay. But again, I'm genuinely surprised by how many clear glosses I have. This one by Artitude is perfect pomegranate. That can stay as well. I've got this one in Wicked Watermelon. This was my favourite scent from all of the lip oils that I've tried from them. I've got this one by Tower 28. Um, again, this is more on the older side. And this one also smells really weird. So I don't know if it's just the Tower 28 products or if this generally has expired. So I'm going to put this to the side as well. This one by Fenty is called Hot Chocolate Fantasy. But it's like chocolate, like L-I-T, not chocolate, like late. So that's like a nice little um, spin on the word. I do like that. This one by Brown is in the shade Bear Sparkle, which looks like that. Now, I think I've got two different formulas from them. One's the High Shimmer Lip Gloss. And the other one is something to do with like um I don't know, there's like they've got two different formulas in their glosses and one of them is so good. Then I've got the shade Speak Easy from ColourPop. I regret not buying that palette from this collection because honestly it was such amazing packaging. 
that gloss is so good that can stay and also i've seen a lot of people actually use that palette and like create their own one um this one is um in the scent pretty passion fruit that can stay as well i've got this one from toast dose of colors in the shade don't be chai um i bought this on beauty bay when those colors were still around in the uk unfortunately a lot of these brands are no longer accessible here unless you order them from america but that can be so pricey and i've got this one from dose of colors in spill the deets which is quite a bright pink i don't know about the smell of this one either i'll be honest but i'm gonna keep that on for now this one from dead baker is in the sh shade rhubarb I got this from TK Maxx, so I wouldn't be surprised if this expires quite quick as well. But for now, it smells fine, so that can also stay. I've got this brown one from Elf, again in the shade Chocolate Chip, which is a nice like brownie kind of gloss. So that can also stay. And my last two are these from Colourpop. This is the shade Love Bites, which is a pretty interesting kind of pink. And this hasn't expired yet, so that's nice. I think this is like a lip stain almost. Um, yeah, it's supposed to be a glossy lip stain. This one is in the shade Double Cherry. This is quite a nice colour as well. I'm going to keep that too because that's really nice. That's all of my lip glosses. And honestly, I'm going to go through this one more time just to make sure that everything smells fine before letting anything go or keeping it. So I'm keeping 68 glosses, which is all of these. These kind of five got up into my everyday makeup um, section because I'm panning all of those, or at least I want to. And these are the only three that I'm decluttering. This one, the one has broken. These two actually do smell expired. Apart from that, everything else is fine. I do have a lot of lip glosses, so I think next year the main focus is going to be panning lip glosses and lipsticks. Okay, so this is the third drawer in my Alex 5 drawer set, and this is where I keep my face palette at the front, um, which you can just about see here. And then I keep all of my lip product at the back. I've got this um, section here, which doesn't have one in the middle, just because some of my lipsticks are a little bit more on the thicker side, and it just makes it easy to kind of do it this way um just and they're easier to like take otherwise they'll be too tight in this kind of size um also this is lip stain from the nyx um lipstick i was swatching earlier so i have all of my lip crayons i've got my lip liners i've already taken out the lip liners that are on my that go onto my everyday kind of makeup drawer oh. the lip glosses which i've just stored in here for now you guys can't even see that sorry let me just all of these which are my liquid lipsticks which aren't actually that many surprisingly and then i have this pot this pot plus all of these lipsticks oh okay you guys can't see that sorry um, but yeah, I've got all of that, which I need to kind of make space for in this one drawer. So I guess let's just get started. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching that video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you like, subscribe, comment down below. Um, hit me up in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok. I do post some content over there as well. It'd be nice to have a chat. Anyway, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.